Right then, so we're actually off to do another validation this morning. Um, actually, I do quite a few of these, so essentially it will probably be um, a tenant moved out of an office area or whatever the space is. Um, the landlord's now got it back and probably stripping it out, getting it ready to let again. And obviously they want to validate the air conditioning, they want to know what sort of condition it's been left in. Uh, does it work? Is there any repairs needed? So. That's what we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look. I don't know what's there, I think it's, off the top of my head, I think it's four Daikin twin splits. Uh, that's about all I know. So, I'll take you guys along and hopefully we find something interesting. We might not, but uh, nine times out of ten, there's usually something that's wrong. So, I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. controllers that are blank at the moment so let's have a look uh, yeah all them oscillators are off so we'll flip them back on and have a test all right then switch the oscillators back onto all these uh, one of them's started running straight away they have got F gas labels on them so it does look like they've had some maintenance in the past which is always a good sign let's go and have a look at the indoor units forgot to say there's the other two units so we've got two cassettes two Dyson cassettes um, there's the remote for that one on that pillar there's the remote for that one on that pillar then in this little room, it's almost like a little kitchen or staff room. Another Daikin to set up there, look. And the controller for that is in this kitchen cover next to the water heater. So, exactly the same setup downstairs. There's two in an open pan office like this, and then one in a little office in the corner. Um, I've been round and I've put all these units in test mode and cooling to start with. So we let that run for a bit. See what happens if we can find anything. So I thought we'd have a quick look above the ceiling. I'll just show you what's um, what's up here. First thing I saw, yeah, we've got some SY cable going into the spur. Yeah, just in a normal stuff England, it's not the best really. The sound coming out as well. Not the greatest, but they uh, are. Uh, what else we got? So. I'm sure you've all seen these before. This is the cable tie drain bracket. So, lovely. Not uncommon either. And then more interesting, like, I've never quite seen it done like this before, but they've cut a piece of cable try to span the ceiling grid and then pop the pump on top. Um, mm, never seen it done like that before, but obviously i'm going to test all these pumps uh I'll check obviously check the condition of them as well give them a test but yeah i thought that was interesting i've never seen it done like that before forgot to mention these ones downstairs i've also got this like fire hood over them not something you see often either I don't come across this often so just thought i'd point that one out looks like we've had some furry friends running around on this one definitely signs that someone's been up here so Mm, just keep the eyes out to make sure they haven't gnawed through any cables or anything, but it's definitely evidence. We've got a flasher, we've got a flasher. So uh, this one is 
E4 uh, is a fault code on this one. So if you don't know, E4, that's a low pressure fault. So what we'll do, we'll go out to the outdoor unit and we'll have a look, see what we can find. Unit we want is that one there. All right then, I've took the cover off. I've took this service cap off here. So what I'm gonna do now is just put one of the smart probes on there. Um, we'll see what standing pressure we've got in there. And then I might reset it. Uh, if there is anything in there, um, we'll just monitor it. But there's no signs of any oil around any of these flare nuts. Uh, I mean, this isn't a massive run, so um, can't see anything obvious there. Whether it's coming from the back of the coil, I don't know. It's hard to tell. There's not that much space, to be honest. Let's see if I can get you around there. hard to tell but what I'll do now I'll just show you the probe that I'll use and how I'll connect on to uh, the system just for a quick check. Right then so I've got the TP3 so I did show this uh, this little setup here in the last video so a bit of a grab bag um, just a small selection of things that I'll usually need so this is the smart probe that I use so this is the Testo 549i this is the second generation. Um, you can see there, look, it's got an offset fitting. Um, the old one's just had a straight fitting. And then this has supposedly got um, a lot longer range than the old ones as well. But uh, I'm going to show you something else. So in here. So I always get asked about these. So if you haven't seen these before, this is basically a valve style adapter. Um, well, basically a, a low loss fitting. So I'm gonna show you, see if I can do this one handed. Basically my probe is gonna fit on that end there. And then you will attach that end there onto the system. And then as you turn that wheel there to on, that in there is going to depress the shrader, let the refrigerant flow, and then when you're done, you literally just spin that back around to off, and then you can take the fitting off without losing any refrigerant. So I'll put it on the system now, we'll have a look when it's on. So I'll pop that on the system, I've already switched that on and checked. Um, absolutely no pressure in that one, uh, I'll show you that now. So yeah, um, again, just wanted to show you these valve adapters, and um, you can swivel these as well. Um, just, I'll be honest, for a, I think they're like five pounds um, from eBay, so they're only sort of Chinese things. But uh, I've used, I reckon I've used this one for about three years now. I'll only ever use it for quick checks like this. I don't use it for vacuum out or pressure testing. But I, I spray them with leak detector every time, and they haven't leaked yet. So, in my mind, well worth it to connect these probes on. Yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that's what I use to do a quick check. Um, one of these Testo smart probes, one of these little fittings here. And look, you, you know, it doesn't take up much room. You haven't got to carry around your manifold gauges and your hoses. Um, that's all you need just to pop on and do a quick sort of um, check of the doing. Right then, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to run around and check the condition of the rest of these. I don't think there's anything else too interesting to show you, but. Um, obviously I'll uh, I recommend a full service on all these anyway but as always massive thank you for watching and if you don't mind hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe button it would be much appreciated and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one